In this video, I'm going to show you how you can make an image black and white in Photoshop. Hey guys, my name is Scott and I make full and mini tutorials like this one on Photoshop, Premiere, and videos on freelancing tips. So please do consider hitting the subscribe button and hitting the notification bell if you don't want to miss any of those. Okay, let's get into how we can make an image black and white in Photoshop. So I have a photo of a guy standing in front of a mountain landscape here that I want to convert from color to black and white. There's actually quite a number of ways to do this in Photoshop, but I'm going to show you what I think are the most common ways to do it. First, I could go up to Image, Adjustments, Hue and Saturation, and then slide the saturation bar all the way to the left. And that does an okay job of making the image black and white, but you don't really have any control over the lights and darks within the image. So what I'm going to do instead is create an adjustment layer by going up to layer, new adjustment layer, and then Photoshop actually has a black and white feature built in. So I'm going to select that. Now I have a layer that doesn't permanently affect my original image. So I can turn this black and white layer on and off if I want to. And I have a bunch of sliders that represent RGB, red, green, and blue, as well as CMY, cyan, magenta, and yellow. With these sliders, I can start to control parts of the image that I want to darken or lighten. As I go through each one, you'll see different parts of the image start to change. The red slider makes the clouds pop a little bit more. Yellow looks like it also affects the clouds and the grass. The green slider changes the grass and the plants and changing cyan makes a big difference in the sky and the water as well as the blue slider. And lastly, magenta doesn't seem to change much at all, so I probably won't do much with that. So I can play around with these and get it to how I want it to look, and I have much more control over the whole look of the image than I did before when I was just using hue and saturation. There is an auto feature that will analyze the image and process it how Photoshop thinks it might look best, but usually what happens is it just kind of levels everything out into the middle, which doesn't create a very dynamic look. You can also use the tint feature that will turn the image into more of a sepia tone by default, but you can also go into the color picker and select a different tint color. So if I picked green, it would turn the entire image green, and the same thing would happen if I picked any of the other colors. But for this one, we're going to stick with black and white. The next feature you can use is the hand scrub tool which will allow you to pinpoint areas within the image that you want to highlight or darken. For example, maybe I want to darken his jacket or something like that. I can pick the hand scrub tool and just move my mouse left or right to either darken or lighten that particular part of the image. This also works on other parts of the image, like in the water or in the sky. You can spend a lot of time really fine tuning the image and getting it exactly how you want it to look. So that's how you can make images black and white in Photoshop. What kind of images are you guys converting from color to black and white? Let me know in the comments below. If you've enjoyed this video, please hit the like button and feel free to share with anyone else who might also enjoy it. For more information on Photoshop, Premiere, and freelancing tips, head on over to my website at scottedwardfowler.com and visit my Twitter page at Scott E. Fowler. Also, check out my other tutorials which I've posted on the right side of the screen here. Alright, that's it for me guys. See you in the next video.